What is up, everybody? This is Andre Vape Capital Live with my lovely co-host Camille. Choo-choo. What up? Choo. You're a lot more livelier than you were last show. I mean, I've I've had some time. And you already got your phone on fucking. <laughs> you, you can't even put it on silent for the show. God damn. Shit, I Jesus Christ. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> Drake's so, doing it too. It's only 30 minutes. My shit was already on vibrate. It's only 30 <laughs> minutes. It's going to be okay. How you doing, Cam? I'm amazing. Are you? Yes. Just ready to fucking Just handle ready it. ready to fucking handle it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we also got my right hand man, Serge, on the uh, ones and twos. How's it going, everybody? Hell yeah. And my good homeboy, Josh, from Vape Hooligans. What's going on, brother? What's going on, guys? Man, sure. just living the dream, bro. Whose dream, though? So every time I say live in the dream, I either get wake up <laughs> <laughs> or go back to sleep. No. That's, that's usually my response is when I say I'm living the dream. No, mine's whose dream is it? It's mine. Okay, good. I'm just fucking making it happen. That's just what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so what's up? It's Tuesday. We're here. We're On live. Tuesday. Cloud chatter, making shit happen. Hell yeah. How was your uh, weekend? It was it was really good. I've uh, I hung out by the pool all weekend. Hard life. I mean, it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> Hard life. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I did. Really? Yeah. Well, we can all a, uh, pool all weekend. Yeah. I mean, I have a really dope pool at my spot. Oh, so. really? Yeah. It's like one. It's almost like you have a, a Vegas, barbecue by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like a Vegas style party pool. So like, it never gets so deep that you might die. <laughs> you, drink too much, you know what I mean? Like, a, right. or like one of your children will die. Right. So, um, it goes. To so like, we're talking like four feet. Yeah, three and a half feet. Perfect. As much as it goes. Wading pool is what they call it. It's amazing. It's like a lazy There's river. Like, well, I mean, yeah, but, but no river. But, but no river. <laughs> Just <laughs> lazy. Yeah, no river. Lazy pond. <laughs> there's a there's a current. There's something wrong. But um, yeah, it's it's got like a one of the walk-ins on one side and then stairs on the other. So you can Chill. either gradually go in or you can just dive right in. It's nice. Nice. Yeah. So you just don't dive at three and a half feet. Yeah. No, no, no. That's, I mean. (laughs) Right in. (laughs) Right in. (laughs) Right in. So what's up with you, Josh? What's going on, brother? Um, Chilling. Came down here to do some work with you and figured I'd stick around and do the show. Love it, man. We, uh, we appreciate having you. Thank I you appreciate being around. had. Yeah, appreciate you staying around. We I really mean, love that. I'm excited because I haven't seen Josh in like years. Well, why and not? We've known each other forever. <laughs> I think that's bullshit. Why, why haven't you seen him? <laughs> no, fuck me, right? God, you know what's crazy is that we have so many friends in this vape game, mm-hmm. and um, you know, we stay like you know, hey, how's it going? How you been? Whether it fucking matters or not, or we give a shit or not, we still kind of stay in communication, right? Well, every now and then I text you, KK. You do. Right? <laughs> I fucking hate it. I hate that shit. Now I know what to say when he texts I me. really believe he'll, that he'll no, you, man, no man should ever text KK. <laughs> I, don't, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. No man should ever text KK. That's like the biggest... If you are a man and you have Andre's phone number or if you know his Instagram, (laughs) DM him. I will fucking delete your goddamn number. (laughs) And then whenever you text me, go, hey, bro, what's up? And I'm like, who's this? (laughs) New number. (laughs) Knowing I've had the same number for five years, right? Yeah, but for real, the KK thing just doesn't work for me. I just hate it. But um, we're glad you came, stuck around. Um, We had a really good segment. We did it behind the brand with Vape Hooligans today. Awesome. And um, that will be going live soon. And it was an awesome interview. I appreciate that. It was an awesome interview. Um, I really appreciate whenever I bring people into the studio and we can interview them and talk to them about business and um, the community and the industry. And they don't get uh, tongue-tied, nervous, or um, hold back. Or so boxy. That just really is cool for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because whenever people hold back and they're like uh, one word answers or they yeah. feel really um, unsure. Or Who they, wants to see that? Nobody wants to see that, right? But Not when people uh, divulge information and they talk and they really express how they feel about industry on their own personal opinion, mm-hmm. it really delivers to the community and the industry. And it also makes them believe what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, people who are very unsure about what they say and they're very... Um, passive about yeah. how they talk hesitant people don't believe them and they don't give a shit right. they just really don't they right. really don't and i've always said it from the beginning of vape capital people are nosy as shit oh yeah and they 100%. want to know your business yep hands down the whole human race it's just what it is absolutely that's why reality shows are so popular and famous that's why we have so many dumbass shows on TV. Mm-hmm. It's because people are nosy and they just well, want to know your business. Anytime I post something that people consider like emotional or about my life, it's like, oh my God, girl, I feel you. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And it's a meme. <laughs> I was just, I was just drunk on a Tuesday, but all right, thanks for 
and, I feel you too. And it's a meme. <laughs> it's just her cam posting yeah. while she's day yeah. drunk. All it is, is <laughs> it's, it's only chicken and asparagus. You My know what I mean? But yeah, so for good. real though, right? People are just crazy about that shit. But um, how's Vape Hooligans going? What's going on with you? We're, as you said, living the dream. Yeah. Um, Wake up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm really not living the dream. I mean, I still have a nine to five. Your right nine on. to five is better than mine. Eh, you uh, just haven't been here long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No, I mean, um, looking forward to ECC this weekend, you know, trying to sling a bottle or what two. What do you think and, about ECC being back in Ontario? Uh, Remember how we talked about not holding back? No, I know. I just <laughs> exactly. don't want to. I like, it's. Don't fucking walk I on eggshells. Cool. Fuck that. No, this I is think YouTube. it's cool. I think it's, it's almost throwback. Yeah. It almost is, right? Like, I don't know how they're going to do something as big as what they did in, say, Pomona, which was fun. But, but do you really show. want them to go as big as Pomona? <laughs> no. Because, because people it... fucking being outside, it was 110 degrees. They were fucking dying. I was I didn't not have outside. Booth. I right? will tell you guys yeah. that. I was people, walking it. People were outside, outside angry. They yeah. were angry. <laughs> oh, I would have been fucking livid. Livid. People were leaving because of that. Yeah. My booth did but not no, I mean, outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can put the toothpaste back in the tube. You know what I mean? Right, like, of course. Mm -hmm. It was that big. Despite what some people said, I had a blast last year. Mm -hmm. I didn't, again, I didn't have a booth, so my shit didn't blow over the first night. Right. right. TVs falling off the goddamn framing oh. and 70 inch but, flat screens falling down. Good God. But you know, I mean. And they were worried about bottles of juice before. Being thrown like, out. Yeah. Down. Right. You could have a TV. But no, I think. You. I'm stoked with it being back in Ontario. You know, got the room at the Double Tree. Nobody's invited. Don't try. Um. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> well, you're invited, of <laughs> what I think is cool is that for us, I mean, it's a 30, 40 minute drive. Right. Mm -hmm. We can come back to our own beds at night, right? Mm -hmm. and, Not um, bad. I got a room. <laughs> granted, but like, you know what I mean? When we travel and we have to be on a plane and hotels and all that, the rest of the chaos and crap, um, it's really cool to have a convention in our backyard mm -hmm. that we can go to, come back home. Lay on our own pillows, right, and then go back the next day and still feel rejuvenated somewhat, right? For sure. I I, I love that about Southern California's conventions. Yeah, and I miss the conventions in SoCal. We used to have a ton. We used to, but I'm glad that they've spaced themselves out. I have to say, to give I am us too. a fucking break. I am too. It was <laughs> too many. I mean, at one point, I think it was like one every three months, it was and crazy. I was just like, come on. It was crazy. Like you have to. Yeah, but in this industry, that's like one a year. I mean, Pretty ish, much, right? ish, ish. But, but when you're doing at, them around the country, too. International, yeah. of course. It's too much. But what kills me is that $10,000 booth, let's say 10 by 10. Let's just say 10 by 10, right? $3,000 for internet, but you got to swipe a card to make a sale. Right. You need internet. You got to have Wi-Fi, yep. right? Then electricity. You got to have fucking I power know. plugs. It's you got to have something in your booth that you can power up something in your booth, right? So all these things accumulated, $17,000, $18,000 for a booth, hoping you can recoup that $18,000 while you're in the first three days. Maybe you can get a distributor mm -hmm. on B2B, but you only got Friday, and maybe there's not that many foot traffic. And the only people, people that are in B2B are our friends. Right? Well, and we know everybody, <laughs> and right? And depending on the brand, too, it's rough because, like, for certain brands... You can't go in and just get a minuscule booth because then everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, they're going out of business. Oh, right, a small booth, So right? it's, like, almost better not to go if you don't want to spend $100,000. But remember the two-story you know fucking mean? crazy... Yeah, I was let's on Let's say it. propaganda. <laughs> oh, let's yeah. say buckshot. <laughs> let's say whatever it was, right? The two-story crazy mine. booths. <laughs> throwing glass bottles off the top of the booth and everybody's going crazy. Oh, like, to be Lonnie. fair. Chanting, chanting your Lonnie fucking throwing bottles company's off the name. Top of the you know what I mean? Truck. Jesus. <laughs> To be Correct, fair, I right? threw boxes last time. Boxes. And um, to give a little bit of buffer you know, for that like glass were, bottle that's going to hit nice the nice foam. <laughs> they were packed. You know what I mean? So all you had to do was just catch it. Hopefully. <laughs> or but fight somebody. Hand-eye coordination yeah, really doesn't always that's work. That's what was the the rough one is when people started fighting each other for the Crazy. stuff I was throwing. I was like, you guys, I have like 20 more boxes of these Crazy. boxes right here. Calm down. <laughs> It, but I had a, f a dude who wore at least a 4X shirt fighting for a medium. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was die hard about that goddamn T-shirt, right? Die hard. So He's like, I this understand. is for my Heine at night. <laughs> <laughs> die hard. Yo, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
Raz and B Raz travel the world spreading the shits, they find themselves in the icy tundra of Nome, Alaska. Frostbite, shrinkage, and a new foe make it difficult to spread the shits. Dr. Frosty Shits stops the berries in their shitty tracks. You're really being jerks. Your shits is melting my majestic world. For this, you are now on my naughty list. Chill out and have a nice day. <laughs> the evil Dr. Frosty Shits gathered his new frozen trophies and placed them in his icy palace laboratory. Dr. Frosty Shits began to drain the shits out of the Raz and B Raz to make them chill. Will the fruits escape? Find out next time! What up, everybody? We are back, Vape Capital Live, with my lovely co-host, Camille. That's how you Bless know I'm you. here. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Holy oh. shit. Look at this yeah. big, bad motherfucker. Ballast Whoa. from the past. Welcome back. What's going on? Good. My original right-hand man, Q, right is yes. in the house. With a sexy hat to boot. With his big and old hat. Sexy fade that is four days old, but still looks good. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Hey, everybody. Outside. What is going on? <laughs> Doing hey, big things. Chill. Hello, hello. Hey, I just have a question for one of our uh, viewers. Uh, Shannon um, M and D Vapors, where did you move to? Because I remember you moved from, I believe it was SD, and you went somewhere. If you can uh, chime in the comment section and tell us uh, where you traveled on to, because I was just telling them how you left. But uh, I think, I please think, chime in. I think she went to Vegas. Did she go to Vegas? I think so. Yeah. Oh, hey. She'll chime in right now yeah. if she did. Like if she did go to Vegas. Of the vaping community. <laughs> if she did go to Vegas, then uh, definitely. Shout out to my big homie, Maniac, my good homeboy out there in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Love you, Maniac. Holding it down as always, always in Vegas, for sure. He actually just got a new tattoo shop. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's wow. called Mastermind Tattoo in Vegas. Oh, he, awesome. Uh, it's a little off the strip, but um, he uh, moved into bigger and better. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, always yeah. a good thing. Whose shop doing? is it? Soon. His. Oh, it's his? His. Amazing. He, what is he what? What's he going to be doing soon? What do you mean? For somebody else, like, related to you, kind of? Never mind. I'll take it back. Maybe it's too inside. No, it's never so too inside. inside. You can speak on it. Yeah. Even know. Why are you going to Vegas in two weeks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, my, my, wife is, um, my wife is getting her eyebrows tattooed out there. Oh, what? amazing. Yeah. Um, Dude, I still want to do that. Maniac has a um, permanent uh, makeup tattoo artist in his shop. The microblading? So they don't do microblading, but okay. they do um, the tattoo, obviously tattoo machine okay. um, eyebrows. Um, my wife has had her eyebrows microbladed twice. Mm -hmm. Bernadette's people did her eyebrows yeah, before, yeah, yeah. right? And um, she got them done, and they came out. Yeah, they don't that's stay very what I've well. heard about the microblading. But I, you know, spent over $300 both times getting her eyebrows done. Oh, so. <laughs> Exactly. So fucking right? tattoo that exactly. shit on. And she got super pissed off. She's like, yo, I've done this twice now. And, you know, she has to walk around for like three days and her fucking eyebrows are like, you know what I mean? Have grease all over yep. them. You know what I mean? She's like glossing from the forehead. <laughs> right? So Which is like not what you want. Not what you want to go through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then it gets a little scabby. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's going to go get tattooed. We're going to go out there. Hopefully while she's getting tattooed, I'll get tattooed. Amazing. And um, me and Maniac are going to um, barbecue. Nice. Have a good time. He's going to make his famous white boy, white boy salsa. salsa. Uh, Ooh, and uh, we're just going to have a good time out there and chill out. I hate you. It's going to be a rad time. You should hate me. It's well, going to be a rad I'm time. I'm going to have yeah. to check your wife's brows out after For, they heal up. Yo, and, uh, it's going to be a dope time. Because I'm going back out to Vegas in uh, September. And it's actually like half the price of microblading. That's amazing. It's amazing. That's amazing. For sure. Yeah. I'm, yeah. We're going out there because Jacob is getting tattooed. So the weekend yeah. of the 9th, we'll be in, uh, we'll be in Vegas. September 9th weekend will be out there. Shit, I have to look at what weekend it is. It's going to be really, really dope. I'm just glad that she can get taken care of. Hopefully, it'll last for a while. Hopefully, she'll be happy with it. Yes. And we don't have to go back for a little while. Right. That's my goal and plan. If that can really happen, probably not. Right? <laughs> probably not. But um, that's the goal. You that is the goal. You riding the bike out there? I don't know. Uh, we're going to be there for three days. Um, I can ride the bike out there and put the trunk on and uh, just kind of make it happen. But... Um, you know, whenever you come home from uh, Vegas, mm. you don't really want to be on the bike. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Damn. It's always a good idea. You're like, yeah, I'm going to ride the Harley to Vegas. It's going to be a badass time. And then you go there and you ride and it's badass time. And then it's time to come home and you're like looking at your Harley in the parking lot like, 
can I ship Fuck. you? <laughs> I gotta ride you all the way home right now. <laughs> oh my god! I, and I think car rides back are bad. You know, like I, the it's only bad. I I fly now because I can't even stand the car ride home. It does kind of suck. It's awful. Yeah, because if you leave it like that time, everybody goes, "Oh, it's the perfect time to leave Vegas." It's That's never, never the perfect That's when time. Leaving. It's never the perfect time. You have to leave either late. Or super yeah. early. Yeah, and anyone going to Vegas next weekend, whew, shame yeah. on you. Good luck for yeah. you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Good luck for you. Um, Greg. Yo. What's cracking, homie? Dog, I got a lot to say tonight, bro. Huh? I have a lot to say tonight. Well, let's speak on it. All right, so what's up, guys? Fuck Greg coming at you. So I want to express the fact that people are starting to light their vapes on fire and inhale the fire. I want to know what the fuck that's about. What is that about? I don't know. That's what I'm bringing it up today. Who's doing that? I've never got a lot of like out of country vapors, like lighting their their, lighting their smoke on fire and just inhaling it. So are they trying to show that their cotton is um, durable? Question mark. Yes. And I think it's more of like a view thing or Mm. more of like an outreach trying to get their videos out there. But I feel like it's more of a health issue, if anything. One hundred percent. Putting fire in your lungs. So it's nose hits. Yeah, nose hits with fire going through it. Like that's crazy. Sounds like it's a really good way to trim with, your nose It cringes hair. me every time I watch it. <laughs> I always trip out. Yeah, right? Exactly. I, I mean, always trip out, too, whenever people do that um, that high nick challenge, that stupid oh, shit, right? That's like, fun, though. What's but, your yeah. fucking point, right? To go get nauseous and I, feel sick? It's I feel like Nicotine that was... Poisoning. Right. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that was really popular, like, when we all first got in the game. That right. was, like, a huge yeah. thing. Frozen people doing, like, 24 The frozen nick, tundra. Like, yeah. The avalanche yeah. challenge from yeah. Elicu back Fireball. in the day. I really Elicu. haven't seen a lot of it, though, lately. Lately, I haven't you know seen what it I mean? all. I haven't. I've definitely not seen any of that. Maybe yeah. I'm just out of the loop, guys. Look you it up. Go on your discovery. I'm old. Feed, you'll, really? <laughs> you'll fucking see it, dude. Like, everyone is doing it. It's fucking disgusting. Crazy story about Greg, though, right? Is, um, I met Greg years back. Um, Long and, back. uh, he... I met Greg whenever he was, uh, learning how to blow it up. <laughs> and that shit wasn't working for him. Nope. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't blow up for shit. I was shit. fucking trying. But you were trying, I though. still yep, can't blow up. And then um, I was just like, yeah, whatever, dude. Might, you might just want to give that up. You know what I'm saying? And just do whatever you're going to do and work in the vape shop. Whatever's nope. going to happen, right? <laughs> not me. I don't give up. And he didn't give up. And, um, That's not me. He continued to practice and get better and better and better. And um, now he's a fucking badass tricker. That's amazing. It's Try a, every he's day, a badass man. tricker. And we have the... Um, Fortunate luck that we pulled him, and now he's uh, on VC team. Oh, that's what? fantastic! Yeah. Yep. So now Thank he's you on for team the VC. Andre. That's yeah. awesome. I don't feel like I can blow O's because I have so much Juvederm stuffed in these lips. <laughs> it just doesn't like it. I would think that that make you blow better O's because you got permanent duck face. It's just you just could yeah. be like. <clears throat> I mean, my lips don't even close anymore. <laughs> that's a, that's a true fact. I'm sorry, Jacob. <laughs> 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 no, my doctor was like, my doctor was like, yo, dude, like, you do know that your mouth will be permanently open if I do this next syringe. I was like, yo, hit me. Go. Jesus mm. Christ. <laughs> do they have an anonymous group for that? No, no, no. It's You know, what's funny, though, is it's actually been since January since I've had them done because I had them done so big. So I think right now they're super small. Like crazy small, and somebody the other day that I haven't seen in a while was like, "Jesus Christ, how many syringes do you have in there?" I was like, "Not enough, clearly." Funny like- story though, my niece came over to my house, um, and uh, she over time has been doing little things, right, like most women are doing nowadays. And uh, she came to the house, and I walked in from work, and she was at the uh, kitchen table with my wife, and I walk in, and she turned around, she's like. Hi, and her lips were <laughs> fucking huge, Uh-oh. right? They were huge, oh, and I just looked at her like, "Huh, don't stare," <laughs> right? And I just went and did my thing, and turned around, I was like, "Jesus Christ, how many times have you done your lips? Like, what's going on? Why is it so <laughs> addictive for girls to do their goddamn lips like that?" You just don't notice it, like you get used. But to it, how doesn't it, it get looks? fucking hard? No, they're still they're still like juicy, like, mm-hmm. soft, or they're but, still- you're you getting injected all over. But what if you get like one side is fat and the other side is not? Yeah, I well, did then that. You got, I a, did that. You got I did a bad do doctor. That. Really? <laughs> yeah. So where do you go? Like Bel Air, Hollywood? No, no. Costa Mesa, Newport? No, yeah. Well, Paramount. I mean, I live in. Paramount, yeah. I, I live in Costa Mesa, Newport, so it's <laughs> easy because that's where I live. Doctor but. of the Stars. Yeah. All that good I shit. I mean, it's not hard, but you know. Bougie, you can, bougie. You can make your lips look like Red whatever bottoms, you want now. Louboutin. Yeah, I get it. Pretty funny story about that, too. What do you got? My, my 80-year-old roommate. She has like 80? 80? Trunks you said 80? 80 years old. Holy yeah. shit. And she has what, literally. What, are you Deadpool? 
Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Hey, don't, don't be giving these viewers the, the deets right now, okay? But, uh, pretty much, yeah, she's been doing it for so long that her fucking lips look like elephant trunks. And, like, I'm just like, wow. Like, like roast beef? Well, see, Only the lips or, like, boobs? Everything, it, obviously. Does she look like the broad extent. from fucking, uh, what's that movie? Um, what's that goddamn movie? Which one? With the fucking leather looking broad. She looks like uh, Scream. Oh, something about Mary. Something about Mary. Oh, I've, yeah, yeah. I've honestly never watched that. Holy but shit. I, I will when I go oh, home, though. Don't, don't quote me on Christ. that. I will. I will. So. Greg, you will not watch the movie. Something I mean, about Mary. She's told me I will watch. I bet I'll watch it. Yeah. I never did. I'm going to go watch it, though. Jack don't off. Worry. Get the cum on the ear. She puts it in yeah, her hair. Right? Gel. Oh, hair gel? Right? Sandy, that's classic. Come on. It's because they're babies. I think I've seen like a gif about that or something. So she, it's a gif? GIF, 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 yeah, GIF, GIF. And, and let me just tell you, Cam sends a GIF with every fucking reply she I does do. on every goddamn text. I do, I do, every and also on Jesus any messenger that you have me on, text, anything. She will reply with a GIF. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah, I, I have dancing <laughs> Kimojis. <laughs> Kim <laughs> was that Kim Kardashian? Yeah, it's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Sometimes I like to send like a nice booty shot, you know, like this of Kim I text Kardashian. Cam, I, I text like Cam today, I was like, good. hey, uh, I'm just confirming you're going to be on the show tonight, right? And she's like, duh. And then I get a GIF. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. Hey, can I get some juice when you come? She's like, yeah. And then I get a GIF. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my God, bro. And it was like a big booty. It was like a really skinny girl with a gigantic ass. It was super unnormal. And I was like, yo, that fucking gif has a really big butt. And she's like, yeah, I like to put a little joy into my text when I text back. And I'm like, shows emotion. Okay. You guys, I'm like this all the time. All the time. Not a joke. This is really her. So, Greg, what's up with the tricking, man? So, tricking's going well. I'm kind of sticking to the basics right now. I'm not really feeling all that split God. Crazy eight. eight I thought he was gonna say, "I'm not out. feeling the V gods." No, 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 no. That's all love to the V said. god. He did over say that. There. No, <laughs> he did say no. that. No, it's just all the, said the word crazy God's O's right now are just making my mind turn into Jello, and I'd rather just stick to the solid jellies and the solid shark splits. To be completely real, what do you feel about two years ago tricking oh. to today tricking? All I could say is I miss it. I miss <laughs> it. <laughs> All the new new stuff coming out, all these new things coming out, it's just like way ahead of my time. I feel like I'm just like a grandma in these ages, even though I'm young as fuck. I feel like I don't know anybody that's in the, the, exactly. the, the community or the game nowadays. Exactly. You know what I mean? I feel it like I was happened. pretty, had my hand on the pulse a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know a lot of these people. Are yeah. coming. That's because you stopped the contest. Right. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> so, so, so listen, like we did, we did California and then we did... Um, we did it within the States, national, right? And then uh, we went to international. Um, and then by the time we got to international, I just didn't feel like I could be on a plane for 16 hours. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I just don't feel Sounds like, like I've told everybody a thousand times, I don't feel like Sorry. a plane should be That's in the right. air over six hours. I do not feel like a plane is cool for that, right? Hmm. And when you go international, you don't get on those big boy planes. You get on the little planes. And that shit scares me. <laughs> and then I found out that Takes planes... Takes to admit that. Planes... Um, all the gas is in the wings. Oh, I never shit. knew that before. Oh, yeah? That scared mm. the shit out of me. Because mm. when you're flying, you see those wings wiggle. <laughs> so all the wiggling is the freaking gas. <laughs> right? I'm not okay with that shit. It's like I'm the just plane not. that fell on the 405 recently? Right. That I'm just not okay with that. That's Yo. Insane. And then we were supposed to go to Russia, and I was like, Crazy. I am not okay with Bro. going to Russia when we were in the biggest fucking problem with Russia ever. <laughs> I'm not okay with you that. You got nukes flying through the sky. I'm just not okay really with that. I really want to go to Russia. Do you? I do. I'm cool. I do real bad. Orlando, my, uh, our co-worker, he stood in the airport of Russia for 36 hours. You do yeah, realize how big Russia is, and they have rough. multiple airports. Granted, but <laughs> the, the one he went to, gotcha. he wasn't allowed to leave the airport and mm. couldn't catch another flight to come back home, oh, and yeah. he was going to yeah, Switzerland, yeah, yeah. and um, he had to stay there for 36 hours. Yeah. And he couldn't leave. That's when you just go searching for that Jameson limit. Granted, <laughs> but he couldn't talk to anybody because they hate Americans. Oh. Every person he talked to, yeah. he spoke English. They looked at him and said, mm, and walked away. <laughs> oh, what was that man. movie with Tom Hanks where he was stuck in the fucking airport and ended up living there? Terminal. <laughs> Terminal. Yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> he was there for a long ass time, dude. Hell yeah. Damn. Yeah, he, know, he was sleeping on benches. He had oh, okay. to <laughs> eat in the cafeteria and all that shit. Right. He couldn't read anything. So he was just kind of like, hey, can you help me? And they're like, nope. <laughs> just left him hanging. Now I don't want to be that there. guy. Free rent. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. I don't want to be that guy. So, Greg, um, what do you... Uh, 
what's your what's your you know what I mean your your projected uh, plan for your tricking game in future? So my projected plan is to take it very like professionally, and I want to make all those clean tricks I've been trying to get down solid go onto like a big screen at least. I want to like make a movie about blowing O's. That's gonna be my end goal. I movie wanna, and how? Movie, what do you a mean? A movie just showing like what it takes and what people have to go through to tutorial make- Tutorial or just Not on even you. a tutorial, more, more of like a third person movie talking about someone going through POV? the vape game. Almost like Talk a POV, here, but yeah. that's more of like a first person, you know? Mm -hmm. We don't want to make it that crazy, but I want to make a movie about what people have to go through to get that outreach and get that, get their name out there pretty much, become an artist of their own, whoever they want to be, you know? And I want to make sure that Every tricker out there, every and it doesn't have to do with O's. It could do with music. It could do with basketball. Mm -hmm. It could do with anything in life. Like I did nine years of pop Warner football, and like I got a full ride scholarship to University of Texas, but my grades are just straight F. So I had to just knock that out of the park and try to go the business route. You no know? shit. So, you went through all that. Yeah, I've I've been through some shit, man. We'll talk about that <laughs> on the side. I'll let you know about For that. Sure. But my end goal is just to really get my name out there, really get people knowing about how easy it is to get far in life. And it doesn't take a, like, a lot of strength, really. It just takes the right mindset. That's all I want to speak about. What do you think about, um, because we all know these individuals, um, about these uh, trickers yeah. who started off as shit and got a little name behind yeah. them and their heads blew the fuck up where they can't even fit through buildings nowadays, right? Yeah. And they just think that they are the shit and... You know what I mean? Nobody can touch them. Yeah. I hate it. Can I, I hate it. I'm going to guarantee you something. Half of their followers are all bots. I just want to put that out there. So that bubble on their head is just their own mind. That's just like pretty much them thinking that they're hot shit because they have all these people behind them. But honestly, all it is is just the real like what you have to just be true about is blowing O's. That's all it's a fucking about, dude. Like there's no type of like following. Like what the fuck is that, dude? You just got to go out there, blow O's, do something you love doing, and then you'll get further out there in life. That's all it's about. I think even further than that, I think it takes being humble, yeah, being exactly. courteous, mm -hmm. doing being it what you nice. Love. Just being a nice person. Just don't be an yeah. asshole. You know That's what I mean? I mean, I'm a dick all sometimes. Around. All yeah. around, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, yo, I don't have the best past. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, <laughs> at all, right? I, uh, there's many people in this industry that could not walk in my shoes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And be where I'm at today. Um, but I don't carry that with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even my lifestyle today, many people couldn't wear my shoes. Um, and I don't want them to. Yeah. But I'm always nice. I'm always courteous. I'm always respectful. And I'm always humble about the people who I'm associated with. You know what I'm saying? I don't put myself on a pedestal. I don't have the ego. I don't have, hey, I'm Andre from Vape Capital. Mm -hmm. Who gives a fuck about yeah, Vape Capital? Exactly. Shut up. Who gives a hell about Vape, <laughs> vape Capital, know. right? In terms of just being a good person. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like that's a big reason why Vape Capital grew the way it did. It really did. Because I was just humble and nice and talked to people and hung out with them and mm. conversated and- Talk shit. Talk shit, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? And kicking it with TJ from Uncle Junks and drinking Jameson and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. just, just being a good dude. You know Speaking what I'm saying? I think truth. that goes a long way. I yeah. think that's how most of the actual personalities in this industry became personalities in this industry is because if you go to shows and people walk up to you and know who you are and you take the time to talk to them and right. that kind of thing and become friends with the people who think that you're cool enough to follow, right. then, you're you know what I mean? You're like, you're an actual person. You're not just like, you know, oh, my God. I think the coolest you know, thing is, like, like, going to a convention, right? I always I always speak on this one convention, uh, VapeCon, in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to take this little piece of shit puddle jumper plane. <laughs> Scared the shit out of you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought tape. it was going to die, right? That one actually had duct tape. Oh, my God. And, this, <laughs> and, the, and the lady sitting next to me um, just came. Uh, she's on her way home from Africa oh, God. Oh, and she Jesus. went and she went on like a mission for her church right and she had been traveling for like 34 hours you know what I mean and she was on the last stretch to get home and we get in the air and the plane starts fucking doing this shit oh, gosh. and um, I she looks over to me and she goes are you um <laughs> are you secure with your salvation and I was like look oh, lady hell no. now is not the time right? <laughs> now is not the time today you know is not what I mean? the day and I'm not the not man not the time That's what and, you uh, she wanted to start talking to me about God and everything else and I was with with my coworker Chris, and he was sitting um, behind me, but to the left. And I look over at him for Lobo's support, and he was like playing dead possum, trying to close his <laughs> eyes. You know what I mean? Acting like he was sleeping. I was like, "You motherfucker!" Right? You know what I mean? But uh, once we got there, it was a great time, and uh, I tripped out, and and it really took me off guard when I'm walking through the convention, 
and I see um, a group of people in front of me and I'm conversating with somebody else and I can see them in my peripheral and they're like, oh, that's Andre from Vape Capital. No, that's that guy from Vape Capital, that's him. <sighs> and I was like, oh my God, like how the fuck do these people know who I am, right? Yeah. And they just wanted to take a picture. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to be yeah. in a picture with me, man. And I was like, this is really tripping me out, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And I took like a dozen pictures with every single one of them, then a group, you know what I mean? Wow. And, and you know, it's just, if you're cool and you're chill and you, you know, you can go polite, you can go it's, it's all good, man. Or if you have boobs, it's really easy. People, yeah, well, I do. Um, you know, like... I do have boobs, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? That didn't really get me that fucking fame. I think it was the beard. <laughs> I'd like to say it was the beard. The beard and glasses combo? Some people really like the boobs with the beard. Right? Uh, hey, I deliver. It's a tough Yo, beard for you sure. can DM me anytime, man. <laughs> I, no, shut up. You shaved the beard. I sure did. Q you know got what? a new gig. He starts working at US Open, dealing oh. with Vans and Hurley, and all of a sudden he shaves the beard. And right, he's all clean. And now he's tan, all of a sudden. Right? <laughs> well, I mean, when you you know work outside of you know an office, you know, sit in an office all day, you actually get some sun. It's pretty nice. <laughs> it, it's Come pretty on. healthy, right? Try it. I don't want to. <laughs> no. I, got an office, I got an office with a window. That's good enough. <laughs> it's all right. You, know, you don't need to. You just relax in the office. I'll hook you up with some vans. And, it's all know, I need. Yeah, I got you. It's all I need. <laughs> hey, Greg, what house. do you feel like um, the future of tricking looks like now that we have a four-year extension um, in terms of the feds and everything and uh, the way this community and industry is changing? I honestly feel like the community itself is kind of going to a slow halt in my sense just because it's more of like it's more clicky now. It's more like people have their groups and they're sticking to it. They're not. They're not open to outreaching. You said now, like that hasn't always been. A <laughs> yeah, I, I know right? it's been a problem for a while, but right. I'm just speaking like as you said from now on right. up. I just feel like it's going that way, and like with the whole vaping thing, I honestly cannot predict what the fuck is next. Like we don't honestly like look at cigarettes. They fucking. They started off with papers and shit, and they started getting crazy at putting shit inside of their cigarettes to make people fucking brainwash, and there was just a whole fucking situation with them. So I honestly feel like vaping's just gonna go like better up. I don't see how it can get any worse, you know? Like, if you like look at it when we first started, we we're vaping on fiberglass cotton, and that shit was like probably right. really hey, unhealthy dude, fucking for us. Eco wool was the shit. Yeah, Eco wool yeah, was the shit. For Eco wool and ever, Kenthal, you know what I'm saying? It was probably unhealthy for us. At 26 the time. gauge, three wrap. Maybe a 1% no. healthy, but I just feel like it's getting better from here and everything up is just going to be a blast. I just can't wait to see all the new innovation go coming out and all the new juices they're going to release. Like, I feel like it's just going to be a blast watching it grow and growing with it. Like, it just, it's going to be really fun, I feel. You know what's crazy to me is that, um, so, you know, Vape Capital's in um, a lot of collaborations with international companies. Yeah. Um, that's just where we're headed as well as everybody else nowadays, right? Um, and we put on shows and competitions yeah. internationally, China, Russia, like I was talking about before. These international companies, um, they ask us, hey, um, can you send some trickers who can come and put on a show? And we're like, yeah, cool. Well, you know, our homies are all V-Gods, yeah. right? Um, everybody knows a V-God, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And we're like, yeah, we know some V-Gods. And they're like, yeah, no, um, can we get somebody who's not a V-God? because they've been here so much that people are just used to them yeah. and they mm -hmm. want to see somebody new. And that caught me off guard, yeah. right? Because you go to Vegas, right? And you want to see a show, you know a thousand other people saw the same fucking show, right. Right. but right. you're still going to pay for the fucking <laughs> tickets to go buy the, see the show, for sure. you know what I mean? Because it's a show, uh -huh. right. it's a performance, right? And V-Gods put on a performance. These international companies are really looking for these new newbie, up and, yeah. up and coming, trickers are who are really hungry mm -hmm. right. and really into it maybe um when the band came for 21 and older they weren't 21 yeah and now they are right. and now they're like yo we want those guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well some of the bigger guys when the band came weren't 21 right and still went international <laughs> right well, because, you know, international, a lot of these places are all still 18, right? Right. right. Um, but 16. now, even 16, yeah. you're absolutely correct, dude. And, and, and what I trip on is that the, the up and comings are more desirable than the already knowns. Yeah. Right. And that trips me out. It makes me feel that if trickers are in that category, do, do they feel the same about juices and mods and addies and tanks? That would be a good idea. You know what I mean? Like, do they want the up and comings, the news, the not n so known yet? Yes and no. Like, I mean, just from my perspective, you know what I mean? Because we have so many brands mm -hmm. underneath the Buckshot umbrella. Like, Buckshot still sells. It's four years old. Yeah, yeah. Time Bomb is our best seller still. Still. And it's three and a half years old. So, I mean, 
It really depends. But, you know, we have some of the new stuff out there that's just murdering it. Mm -hmm. But I still, I could never get rid of Time Bomb. Right. You know what I mean? So I think it just depends. You know, and, and that's a really hard thing to say because a lot of these staple juice companies that have mm -hmm. been here for a long time, the villains, the Ela Cubes, the, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, even further back, the propagandas and everything else, right? They were like staples, right? Mm -hmm. When we went to places, if mm -hmm. you didn't see those companies, you're like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So nowadays, you don't see them. Right. And it's really kind of a trip. I think a lot of people didn't... didn't uh progress at the industry and unfortunately and I've said this before and I'll say it again um, I don't dictate the industry and neither do the distros and neither mm -hmm. do the shops the consumer does the end user so they're going to be the ones that change the industry the people yeah. watching the personalities they want to watch the people mm -hmm. um, you know enjoying the flavors they want to enjoy or vaping the way they want to vape they're the ones that are going to choose which things get really big and which don't and i see people get heated over shit all the time and i'm just like you guys gotta kind of calm down just a mm -hmm. little bit because if there wasn't a demand for certain things then there wouldn't be a supply of course you know 100 percent. hey let's take a quick commercial break we'll be right back stay tuned was sucking the shits from our favorite berries. Back in Cleveland, Dr. Sugar Shits called the fruits to his holler chamber. Dude, here's the location of the last snow shin. Go to Normal Alaska and see what you can find. Honey Doo, Doo follows the shits trail to the icy land of Nome, Alaska. It's a cold day and it's going to get colder for you. Chill. The evil Dr. Frosty Shits shoots his icy shits at Honey Doo Doo. Honey Doo Doo eats his icy shits and snowballs it back at Dr. Frosty Shits. As Dr. Frosty Shits takes a mouthful, he explodes in an icy flash. With the spell broken, the Raz and B Raz melt out of their icy prison. Dr. Sugar Shits contacts the fruits. Our plush foods with Dr. Frosty Shits melted, you can now spread your shits to the world. Please bring back the chilled shits from the Raz and B Raz so I can experiment from his power. Dr. Sugar Shits formulated his latest shits. B Raz chilled and the Raz chilled. Our favorite fruits now spread even more shits to the world.
What up, everybody? We are back, Vape Capital Live. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Ben Vaping from SOI, the homeboy. The homie. Um, he is going to be at ECC, and uh, he sent me a text right now saying, make sure you come by the booth and have some shots with me. I will do that. You are welcome. Oh, that, was, <laughs> yeah, that was to Dre. No, no, no. I feel like he meant to send it to me. He just didn't have the my problem, number. The problem with that is, right, is it? Uh, I try not to do that at shows anymore. <laughs> oh. I had a really bad experience. Oh. Um, mm. We The first time we were ever doing uh, BC Live at a convention, we had the giant fucking booth. It was a fucking 20 by 20. It was huge for us, right? Mm. And we had a full panel microphones, Wi-Fi, the whole nine, filming nice. live, doing our thing. And I'm with TJ from Uncle Junks. And he's like, come on, bro. We're just going to go walk around. I'm like, cool. We're walking around the convention. And Everybody's every got bar any. that he saw, huh? he went and got quadruple Jameson. You got to know who you can fuck with <laughs> on the floor and who you Jameson. can't. Granted. 11 in the morning. Look, oh. you got to know who you can fucks with on the floor and who you can't. I've Bruh. quickly learned to be like, no, you know what? I'll catch up with you in like 10 minutes, dude. I'm just, I'm super busy right now, <laughs> yeah. but I'll catch up. I'm going I'm to find you. I'm going to find you. Yeah. Or the people that I'm like, I yeah, tried yeah, that, but this go. was we like a go. Saturday and I already did that all Friday. And they're like, no, fuck you. Come here. Right. <laughs> so I was like hanging out with him and it was just Jameson, Jameson, Jameson. And then all of a sudden I get a text from my CEO saying, you're on where the five. hell are you? You're on in five minutes live. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Like, uh, I'm right? here. I was like, yo, this is a bad idea. And then it's you started rigged. going, Ta -choo! And I was, I was just <laughs> feeling myself, right? <laughs> and we go live and I start talking and we're about 15, 20 minutes into it. And I'm talking with all these big dogs in the mm -hmm. industry. And I was like, yeah, Vape Capital, we're taking over. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking over. We're running this shit nowadays, right? And I looked at my phone, and my CEO's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> but, yeah, shit happens when you're at a convention. It just, it does, it it's does. just the way it goes down. Especially you know when I mean? there's Jameson. Oh, yeah. Lots of Jameson. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's Unfortunately. I try to stay away from uh, Ruthless. Mm -hmm. I try to stay away oh. from uh, <laughs> a lot of other my homeboys that are like, hey, come uh, Vacasia. Big, big drip. I try to stay away. I love Chris <laughs> fucking with all my heart. But every time he has a booth, he has, like, ten coolers, and I got to stay away. You just mm -hmm. got to stay out of the back of the booth. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You chill in the front, don't go to the back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we're getting uh, questions what everybody's vaping on and what they're using. So let's go around the room for uh, hand checks. Sweet. So I'm rocking uh, A's Roth RDA with my Alien 220, I believe. Yeah. And I'm rocking a vape handle on the side so I can uh, blow O's without a mod in my hand. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Tricky. Oh. Yeah. 220, I mean, what do you really run it at? 70. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I always trip out, dude. 100%. Like, yeah, I got a 200 watt mod. And whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. what are you running at? They're like 70. 60. You know what I mean? I'm like, right. why do you got a 200 watt mod? You know what I mean? We don't know. Just for the backup, you know, just right. in case you want to. But does your battery drain a lot faster in your 220? No, I, don't, I only run it at 70, so it lasts me Do you all last day. all day? How, yeah. how many batteries do you go through a day? Two. That's right? Yeah. Charge That's it cool. when I go to bed, wake What's up. What's your build? Charge. Oh, I'm rocking uh, three wrap space aliens. Ooh. What gauge? Uh, uh, 36, and then I think 24 in her. Nice. Yeah. Nice. They're pre built but I just stretched them out a little bit. Hey, Maniac, we need some uh, pre-made coils for the homie Greg. <laughs> Please. He, he wants, uh, he wants some Maniac originals, right so let's get some of those over here. Yeah, or a drill battery. I could fucking get down some aliens. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, what do you got? I'm rocking a Triple X by Vapors Cloud and the new Rebel um, by the homies Nick and Dwayne. Mm -hmm. nice. um, How is that? Because I've been I seeing a lot of... I love it. I've been hearing a lot of chatter about the, hey, it's coming out, it's coming here. You know what I mean? Look out okay. for it. For the longest, they wouldn't let you see the deck. That's the deck. Sheesh. I'm rocking... Jesus Christ, what kind of build is that? It is six wrap, 20 gauge on a four inner diameter. How hot does that get? It doesn't get that hot because it takes forever to ramp up. <laughs> How long <laughs> right. does it take to ramp down? It takes a little while to ramp down. But, I mean, it hits good. Um, wow. That's production. It's production. It does have some... And how many batteries do you go through a day? Uh, <laughs> more than I'd like to. <laughs> um, but Bad the only life. reason I put this build in here is because the only thing that everybody said about the original was, dude, that deck's so small. So I wanted to put a ridiculously big fucking build in it. Mm -hmm. um, six wrap 20 is like wide on yeah. a four miller or on a four inner diameter. 
is fucking fat and it fits That's just what fine. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said? I, don't I know. hope he didn't say that. <laughs> Shit. Well, maybe. I, I, hey, no That's judgment. It. Unless he was talking about her. I don't know. You know what I, mean? I don't know. It just came out that way. What do you got? Oh. What do you got? Wait, you oh, wait. wait what's your juice? What are you vaping? It's my juice. It's, you know, it's fucking Peacemaker by Vape Hooligans. Everybody Whoa. should vape it. There you go. Oh, and real quick, before we keep going, Pablo, you fuck up Game of Thrones for me this week. I will beat your ass. Oh, he said he's. A, <laughs> hey, Pablo, he said he's Did deleting you. Did you spoil it? He's deleting coming. you. No Greg, spoilers. We, we skipped on you though. What, what juice are you vaping? Oh, I'm actually vaping Lucky Charms by Frosty Elixirs. No label right now, but yeah, it's pretty bomb. Right now, Lucky you Charms. Like the, you like the cereals? Yeah, no, not really cereals. Not the fruity cereals. I'm more like the marshmallow cereals, like mm. Lucky Charms with bananas and. The, the sweet shit scares me because I think it's just gonna fuck my coil. Oh, and it will. Cotton and oh, everything will. else, and I try to just stay away from as it. As long as you don't mind vaping brown cotton, it's I, I do. I don't. I feel like <laughs> I do. Yummy I feel like caramel. none of my creamies will do that to you. Mm. Not a one. Like I'm not gonna lie, I, and I trust me, I'll tell Cam to her face if this shit was garbage. But I've been vaping this damn lifesaver stuff, and the regular fruity one, and then the cherry. She just gave me this today, the sours uh, that just uh, was presented to me. Um, in a Starbucks bag. In a Starbucks bag. <laughs> it tastes right? like life. I thought she was going to give me the Louis Vuitton bag that she got, but I'm sure that shit cost $50 just to put the damn shoes in, so I didn't get that bag. But it never makes my coil taste like shit, and I can vape the same coil for literally like two months with this, this juice. And there's only a couple of juice companies that I can actually say have done that for me, mm -hmm. um, one being Maniac's Juice, mm -hmm. and uh, that was like the longest term. I... <laughs> V God Trick Tank, the very first one, five months, same coil. That's with crazy. Maniac's Juice. Nice. Felony. That's, from, that's uh, retarded. Five that's months, <laughs> same coil. There's just no reason for it. No, like, yeah. Change your coil, bro. <laughs> Granted, the one reason why it took that long is because they stopped making the fucking tank right. and they stopped making the coil. So I had to like beg, plead, and barter with everybody who had a goddamn fucking tank that had coils for that. But seriously, five five I months. I still have coils at home. Do you want some? V gods? Yeah. Oh, I'll come to your house. I'll, I'll see you on He's Saturday. He's serious, though. Yeah, I will come to your house. <laughs> oh I think I have 0.5s and 0.25. I'll take them all. Ooh. I'll take them all. Oh my god. What do you got, Cam? Okay, so I am using a uh, not an alien for once. I know you actually do it's have a different crazy. mod. <laughs> I'm using a uh, Squid Industries mod that was actually made just for me. Um, they were kind enough to Bougie. make me a custom one. Go figure. <laughs> and Bougie. you know what? I was like really, um, when I first got it, it was like, it's all metal. You know what I mean? So I've been very spoiled using like the alien kits and like easy breezy, you know what I mean? So I was like kind of freaked out by it, even though I started off with two mods like everybody It's a dual else. battery though, right? It's a dual battery, but it's super easy to use. It does have a chip. It hits really <laughs> first of all, good. Easy to use, but before the show started, you said, yeah. Andre, can you help me put my batteries in? How the fuck by, is that easy by, to use? By use, I mean like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say, you know, for the Bless. ladies out there, maybe need to get a little stress ball, a little exercise thing. It is a little hard to get the batteries in there, but you it know. It was a little difficult at first. You, I mean, at least I know it's not going to come popping off anytime soon. Mm. Um, they're really, really nicely made, um, and I, I love it. It, and, it hits well. And so. I've had one for, well, since last DCC, actually. Mm -hmm. It does get a lot easier. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so there's... You just gotta, you gotta now break we it in. know. Yeah, you gotta break it in. <laughs> All right, this, I've this only had mine for a few weeks, so you know what I mean? And I had just gotten a new Hexome, too, so I've been bouncing back between the two. So, But I. But the Hexome's a lot bigger in your hand. Yes, huge. And I've been stuck on this one because the way it hits, it's, it's really awesome. So. so, And then I am using the new uh, Crown 3 Mini. So they just came out with the Mini for those Is of you... Is that a 22 millimeter? It looks a little skinnier um, than uh, a lot of the tanks out it's, today. You know what? I, I'm going to be super honest and shame on me, but I don't know the I actual think it's, dimension. It looks like 24. It looks like 22. Yeah. 22, 22, 22. It looks like 22. The, it does come with a bigger 22. glass if you do want to hold more juice because right? I am constantly oh. filling this up. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people who are complaining like about the Crown 3s being ginormous, so they Should went ahead really and made the mini. Um, and I really, really like it. It's I know that you know a lot of people had some issues with the Crown 2s out there, but the Crown 3 has just... It's above and beyond. It's amazing. So if you guys, how many batteries do you go through a day? Uh, honestly, I only use two. Really? Yeah. Maybe if I'm going hard, like on a late night or whatever, then I'll replace it at like eight. On a drunk night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, I mean, you know, those really classy nights that I have. <laughs> so. You know what though? On drunk nights, you don't go through as many batteries because you hit it until it won't hit. Anymore. Right. I just see Cam with that, uh, like a, a wine bottle with that, um, the wine glass cork. 
Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they're like, how many drinks did you have? She's like, just one. I mean, just- <laughs> but if you know me, then you know my drink is Jameson. Yeah. So, you Picklebacks. Know, I got that J on my yeah. face. Um, anyways, so, <laughs> and then I am vaping uh, Life Flavor Sour, which is newly released and it's fucking delicious. What would you uh, describe the profile for Sour? It's really hard, um, and the names in all of the Life Flavors lineup are a little bit ambiguous because um, everybody gets a little something different from it. Um, it's it's definitely tastes like what it's supposed to be. Um, it does have, like, kind of a sour kick to it, but it's not, if you're, like, a lemon hater or whatever, you're not going to not enjoy this juice, if that makes sense. Right. Like, it's not going to be smack in the face lemon. I'm That's a That's not what pledge. it is. No, not at all. It's, <laughs> I'm a lemonade. It's, um, I hate that shit. If you like, like, sour candies or you're always reaching for, like, you know, the, the tartar flavors, then this is the one for you. You know what I mean? And it's really nice, too, because it's not, like, a crazy rough throat hit because some of those lemonades and i have one uh oh, yeah. on our clutch line tko it, it has a throat hit and people loved it for that um but it this one doesn't it's really really smooth and it's it's just fucking good it's probably the best one on the whole line well i'm ready to try it. to find out yeah i'm ready to try <laughs> that to learn shit. yeah <laughs> for me i got uh my my ride or die um the uh vaporesso attitude um this thing has yeah. been through hell with me uh, the Vaporesso tank and uh, um, oh man, uh, those those little small mods, the MKs, the MK ones or whatever, those little mm-hmm. small little things that came mm-hmm. out. Yeah, that, I just snatched a drip tip off of that. Tip. Yeah, I just snatched a drip tip because I just really hate tip? just the tip. That's mm-hmm. all. Just to see how it feels. Just to see how it feels. Mm-hmm. But I hate whenever oh, um, uh, tanks or drippers have giant uh, chuff caps or something. Like, yeah. I, I'm just I'm. I don't want to go, ah, to hit my fucking mod, right? I don't want to do that shit. And I do. I like the smallest damn tip possible because uh, I've always just liked um, to interchange my tips and just be yeah. personalized my own mods. Um, I've dropped this thing about 50,000 times, so I don't have a magnet on the top anymore. So when I move it in my hand, you can see you it just moves that. out. <laughs> um, yeah, so it only has magnets on the bottom nowadays, but um, I'm using a uh, Vape Capital uh, black cloud comp battery. Nice. And I'm vaping on um, Lifesavers, but not this flavor in particular. I'm vaping the um, the fruit line, the um, the regular uh, mm-hmm. original Lifesavers line. The the life flavors. It, it's like you <laughs> grab all the Lifesavers and throw them in your mouth at one time. I like the flavor. That it's the color's bomb. Not bad. It's so bomb. Um, but yeah, so this is my my beater. It's my everyday. I do have a new um, white CKS dagger, the new one, um, but uh, I dropped it the other day, and I had my V God Trick Life tank on it. Oh no. And it broke the glass. Oh Ooh, damn. And I thought, because you know, I'm like, oh, I hoard vape shit all of the time. I thought I had some glass tanks uh, <laughs> in my office, and I don't. Mm. I don't have any glass. Since we've been here, you've done this. Yeah, I, done I, this. I do this. Yeah. There yeah. are so <laughs> many yeah. sexual innuendos yeah. with his hand movements. It's like you gotta just ignore them. You phase them out. So like I just know? do innuendos, but like, yo, Q will tell you 200 bucks is 200 bucks, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So at least, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm subtle about it. He's just very upfront and, 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 you know what I mean, blunt about it. So it just, it happens. It works out. You get experience and cash. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Real talk, though. When he was working here, um, he uh, had a job to go and cut down a tree. And he was like, yeah, no problem. I'll cut down a tree. 200 bucks is 200 bucks. They gave him a handsaw. And uh, it turns out the tree was in a gated community oh. in Newport. Uh, no. I don't know exactly where it was. Like Kodo de Casa or some oh, fucking no. rich Something spot. Super Anyways, nice. it was really illegal for him to cut down this damn tree. And he he only cut it down because it was blocking somebody's view of the ocean. And he went oh, and cut damn. down the damn tree. He chopped it down. It fell. He ran, jumped over three fences, <laughs> met up with somebody who was on the street, and they drove him away. He left the saw on the site. I yeah. feel like he has experience in other areas that helped him yeah, yeah, to accomplish yeah. that job. Yeah. So he it, left the saw at the scene of the crime. Uh, yeah. With his fingerprints, Wait, or were you wearing you gloves? Wear gloves? Were you wearing gloves? No. No, no gloves. No. no. You're on the um, um, he was well, like, hey, it's a wooden handle. My prints aren't there. And I was like, yo, have you seen CSI? <laughs> yeah. It was, it, was, it was very gnarly. Have you watched the show before? Yo, they'll come and get you. You just drop me off right on PCH and you just go, all right, all right that's all, the hey, tree. It's that one right there. <laughs> Which one? It's like Did you get eight your at night. Bucks? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah hell yeah. It took a little while, but he got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh, Serge, what kind of uh, vape you got over there? Right here, I got the Vaporesso Terra Nano, and nice. I'm vaping on Grandmaster, 
which Grandmaster. is uh, the new public brew flavor, and that's golden grams, banana, and milk. Mm, yeah, it's nice. really good. Reminds me of Saturday mornings growing up. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, cartoons and all that with shit. It. Tell me more. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. What cartoons did you watch whenever you were a kid growing up? Shit, like uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Always. Doug. After school. Like a child. Oh, yeah. That was, that was <laughs> that time Ta Tom and Jerry. I used to love Tom and Jerry. I remember when um, Cartoon Network was just like all the old school cartoons. Yeah. And then now it has its own channel, but now it's like newer cartoons. But <laughs> I always tripped out on that one cartoon with the dude with the big old fucking hair. What was that dude? Johnny, Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Like, what the hell is going on, man? Oh, like, man. Shit changed after Tom yeah. and Jerry. You know dude, what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, Johnny Bravo shit was changed, a fucking, man. Johnny Bravo was a Mac. Shit yeah. changed, man. You know, my my uh, my oldest child, that was his favorite cartoon, and that's how you know how old I really am. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you guys, these doctors in Newport. <laughs> <laughs> Went to school with Jesus. <laughs> For real, though. Times have changed, man. Kids nowadays are into, like, but I trip out. I watch these, like, new age, you know what I mean, cartoons. They don't Rick even make any sense now, though. But they're Rick just so foul. You that know that what I mean? They make no sense. Adventure Time? Oh, I love that show. Oh, yeah. especially. I don't even know what yeah. See, oh, you... Man. You, you wouldn't know stone. what it was if you watched it. The first chaotic cartoon, like the, in my generation, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Was uh, South Park. Oh, I was yeah. like, "Holy shit!" But that this was is funny. Like, this is like the new like cartoon for like adults, and I feel like every new now cartoon is like not for kids. Dude, yeah. when the South Park movie came out, my little brother was, I believe, twelve, and he had watched the show, and it was all good. So me and him and my mom. <laughs> that's where you theaters. fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's where really where I fucked up. Hey, <laughs> but it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's where you messed up, man. Right. Mom's was like, she she probably was sitting in the chair, and then every once in a while she'd look over and be like, "This is fucked up." No, she was. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna drop. tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you exactly what she was like because I've been that mom that brought my kid to something that I shouldn't have brought them to, and you're more just like, ooh. I wonder how many people in these theaters are looking at me right now. Mm -hmm. See, yep, that was a, me. Report me. I think me. that's the cool thing about, like, you know what I mean? The kids nowadays is like for our, my kids, right? Like, uh, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't tell them they can't watch a certain kind of whatever. Um, I don't tell them they can't listen to a certain type of music. It, they got you know the what fucking mean? internet. They're gonna do Bro, it. Bro, they're gonna do it. Dude, anyway. it's you know everywhere. I mean? It's unstoppable. I don't it's, censor their you can't their, censor their, it. their their intake. They're gonna know? go to a friend's house and they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want anyway. The really weird part for me is when this asshole comes to my house oh jesus and oh, and man. my my boy looks at him and goes hey um, do you know this whatever artist and he's like yo that's my shit <laughs> and i'm like bruh yeah. my boy's 15 you know what i'm saying <laughs> yo. i'm like my boy's 15 this is some weird shit right we, we have conversations they do <laughs> and it trips me out man but like kids nowadays are just into this Trap music, oh, want to be thugs and it's gangsters, and yeah. they know oh, nothing about this. Years, but they know oh. nothing about this lifestyle or that lifestyle, and they just think they're. My 11-year-old, when he gets in the car, will switch my radio to whatever station it's his. It's programmed on there. I don't even fucking know what it is, right? And he'll just sit in there and be like. <laughs> And I'm like, what are you doing? You are so white, bro. Do you know how white you are? I seen my kid. I seen my kid dab, and I was like, yo, are you having a seizure? Like, what the fuck is going on right now? What's happening, when bro? When my kid you know told I mean? me he was gonna do the dab, I was like, motherfucker, no, you're not. That's drugs. And he's like, um, no, no, ma, it's just, it's, it's I don't. and I was like, I don't know what you're. Sit down. You're in trouble. You're grounded. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Kids nowadays are crazy, man. They're just crazy. But I think like our generation coming up that we were exposed to so many crazy different genres of everything that mm -hmm. was like, you know what I mean? We were like the melting pots of it all. Um, whether it was the OG, like, you know, Social D when Mike Ness was still on heroin or, you know what I mean? Like whatever it was, you know what I mean? Gangster rap or Dr. All Dre or NWA and Easy e and all this other crazy shit yeah. coming up. But now the kids are like, yo, that's old people shit. And how they're into <laughs> shit that like, I listen to it. I'm like, what is he saying? What did he say oh, right fucking now? fucking mumble rap, And dude? they have no idea Scream either. You know my I mean? kid goes like this. You know, I don't really like Dre. And I was like, huh, let me tell you something. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Sit your ass down. We're going to watch this documentary. <laughs> have you been watching those? I haven't started it yet, but I do have the HBO channel. What is the, so what is the name of that? Um, it's a... Uh... It's, God damn it! What's the name of that? It's, it's um, on each. It's on my channel every single the, day. Jesus Christ! I can't even think of the name of it. But it's it's the Dr. Dre story with the oh the, something breaker. It's like a. It's crazy. I just got it sent to know. me the other day too, and and um, it, I was supposed to watch it. 
um, by actually John sent it to me the other day. Mm -hmm. I could probably pull it up right now because he always sends me crazy ass shit. But uh, he um, stuff about Fruit Loops and stuff. No, it was uh, (laughs) it was it was um, it was the 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 show about how Dr. Dre started and um, how they came up in the game and you know I mean yada yada. Oh, it's called Defiant Ones. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Defiant Ones and um, how he came in the game and everything else and it's really his story on getting famous and meeting Easy E and then meeting NWA and Ice Cube and the whole nine and how they progressed and got bigger and then he left that that label. It's really a crazy story. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And what's crazy is that the dude behind it all, what is his name? Uh, Jimmy um, Iovine. Jimmy Iovine, um, he's like a, a little like Jewish dude from New York. Yep. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And and uh, and he just went crazy and got really big. You know what I mean? After yeah. uh, uh, producing like Bruce Springsteen and and all these rest of these uh, rock artists back in the days, and then moved into hip hop because that's where the money was. And then he's like the biggest deal around. Mm-hmm. It, it just trips me out, dude. All this, awesome. like from our past, it's like, yo, dude, we have all these icons in our past, and most of them died from drugs and overdoses and all this other crazy shit. And now, the, like the new generation, they look at all these. Our generation, right. they're like, yeah, you guys well, are shit, fucking dude. old bastards. Bucket list. I just saw today that tickets go on sale to see the original Misfits, Glenn mm. Danzig, oh, yeah. Jerry Only, Doyle, at the Forum on the 30th of December. Yes. Crazy. yes. I'm fucking so stuck. That's like bucket list shit for me. Right. Mm-hmm. And it, it's just a trip. Like, you look at all these old artists that, like, I look, I say they're old as fuck, but, like, you know, you look at, like, Kiss, they're still on them tour, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you look at all these old-ass yeah. artists, and you're like, how the fuck are you still playing? Like, right? the retire, homeboy. How the hell is the Who, 70 yeah. years old, talking about, I hope I die before I get old on stage? You're like, yo, The Who, <laughs> we know who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> retire, homeboy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seriously. Retire. It's I okay. I mean, like, you've, I, you've... I'm having trouble getting up to go work out in the morning, and I'm definitely nowhere near their age, so I'm just like, fuck. And they're you still, they're still going to oh, paint. give it to them. They're going to paint and makeup, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Crazy. Being in there for, like, a couple hours, and, yep. and you know what I mean? It's just crazy. Uh, Gene Simmons, uh, man, you know what I mean? His porn star wife and all that good stuff, but Jesus Christ, bro, you're old. You know, <laughs> you know what, what I mean? You know what his saying is, though? Is there a dollar in it? Then I'll do it. <laughs> I respect that. Dude, cute. Yeah. It's not even 200. It's just one. <laughs> it's just <laughs> nice. I respect it. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I respect it. Yeah. But, um, hey, check this out. Everybody, um, we will be at ECC. Um, I know that uh, Josh is going to be at ECC. You're going to be at ECC? You're going to yeah, walk around and mop around walking. and do your thing? Mm-hmm. Greg, you're going to be at ECC? Cool. I'll be there. So we're going to be there. I will be at ECC. Nobody asked you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be at ECC, and uh, we got a booth there. What we're going to be doing at ECC also in our booth is... um. Excuse me. We're going to be doing um, some behind the brand connections with companies, juice companies, um, mod companies Mm -hmm. who have been around for a while. And um, we're going to approach them at ECC. So if you're watching this, please be ready when we approach you. (laughs) Look for the beard um, to really just tell the story of the brands that have continued the longevity of this this vape game, Mm -hmm. Um, how they started, where they're at, how they progressed how they feel about the four-year extension. We're just going to talk to them and really just get their perspective on the companies that are still in the game today. So we're going to be doing those. Uh, We're also going to be doing some um, uh, daily setups, basically uh, videos, hand checks um, about uh, what they carry, what they use, what they vape. Um, You know what I mean? They're they're day-to-day just vapes um, Mm -hmm. because people are really adamant about their vapes and yeah. they are very particular about what they use their builds their either their dripper or their tank guy i'm a lazy ass vapor i will always use the tank so lazy. Um, but a lot of people still want you to drip switch to a squonker i tried a squonker i had an e7 uh, i sold it it was a very expensive mistake um i really <laughs> didn't appreciate it or like it it leaked all over my car um i just had a lot of issues with those things Teach his own. A lot of people love him. I just couldn't work with him. Fair enough. I just couldn't do it. And it was very expensive, very expensive mod. Four hundred fifty dollars is Ouch. no uh, easy, easy fee. Yeah. You know I mean? Brand new Xbox right there. Right, and I don't play video games, so you know. It's I mean, a whole syringe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Mm. It, yeah, all, mm. there. I did it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll be there, and um, we're going to be um, doing some some cool shit. Um, if you guys see us, look out for us. Come up to us. Say hello. Um, let's take some pictures. Take some selfies. I'll have very um, pink hair by then. You have what? I'll have very pink hair She's by then. By She's the going salon. to the hair salon. <laughs> I might get a fade um, and not wear a hat. No, I can't. I got to wear a hat and glasses. I'll probably get my hair cut. Yeah, you, you have to. Yeah. You, have to. you probably should shave your beard, too. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask him how it felt to lose the manliness. It was, it was embarrassing. It was very embarrassing. And 
everybody that know, like knows me did not know me just walk right past me so <laughs> yeah it won't happen again when i first hired q on to be at the vape shop that i was uh, the gm of uh, back in the days east Lake city long beach back in the days on third and pine he didn't have any facial hair i don't even think he could have possibly grown it at the time <laughs> um and then we gave him a challenge that he couldn't shave for a year and we would give him a mod back in the days the cronus Oh, the Cronus mod, right? The Cronus, the and it was, black, it was and gold. black and gold. It was the limited edition Cronus. Did it just sit up Did there waiting for him? Did he still want it after him? a year? So this is what happened. <laughs> we said, don't shave for a year, and you can have this mod. It's yours. The thing about it was he adopted the goddamn mod after the first month. So for the next <laughs> eight and a half, nine months, he beat the shit out of this mod, but yeah. he never shaved the mustache. And then by the time his time was... came up, he looked like such the fucking Italian porn star. <laughs> it was fucking bananas. Dude. <laughs> it, it was amazing. It was I was just yeah. like, yo, dude, here's the mod. It's yours now, but shave that shit off. And he kept it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he still stuck through it and tried to do what he had to do, but all bad. All bad. Yeah. All bad. No beard, no mustache. Oh. Straight MacGyver looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. love MacGyver. Oh, my God. I hate the mustache. That was oh. so old school. I love MacGyver. Good God. Just imagine, I like, crush on him. just imagine a young Q and mustache and getting yelled at by Andre for not making, you know, a good Kental build. Or, oh, I used to be on his ass. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I used to be silica, my bad. Silica. Yeah. Rap on equal wool. Four, four, uh, four wrap equal wool with 26 gauge three wrap. That was the build, bro. You know what I mean? 0. 0.27 ohms. Come on now. Ripping. Cut the tips. Ripping. Oh my Dumb God. Bugs. No, we just tuck them. Butterfly them. <laughs> Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll be there. So um, everybody stop through. See these lovely people on my panel. If you see them uh, at ECC, reach out to them. Say hi, man. Sounds We're humble good. people. We love everybody in this uh, vape community and this industry. Um, and we've been here a long time. So uh, if you get introduced to somebody who's just coming in this game now and they're fucking asshole just know that send that's not way. all of us right <laughs> that's just not all of us don't man. send it my way i don't have the patience like when you see people like own boy oc <laughs> and grim green and uh all these people have uh, built a name for themselves in this industry and they're still humble and they still laugh and have a good time and they're not serious about all this bullshit yeah. and mm -hmm. politics and ugh, i just hate it <laughs> but we're not those people and it, it feels good that we can be a part of this industry and um still be relevant yeah. Yep. Honestly, just still be relevant. So if you're there, say what's up to us. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> and we're out of here. Let and we guys. will be back in two weeks and uh, talk Bless about uh, all the good times we had. Bless you guys you. have a good time? Very good time. Very good time. Thank you. <gasps> right Thank on. Thank you very much. Later, guys. We'll talk to you guys later.